Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome. We've got our birthday boy. Good morning, Dominic. We get to celebrate Dominic today. It's almost my birthday. Good morning. Good morning. Hi. Good morning, Saman. Good morning, Mrs. Lai. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. All right. Let's go ahead and say good morning. Ready? Good morning, boys and girls. Oh, I don't know if anybody heard me. Let's try it again. Good morning, boys and girls. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Let's go ahead and turn on our mute buttons. Turn on our mute buttons. All right, we're gonna go ahead and play our good morning song first while we wait for a few more friends to join us. So here we go. to go. Now today is such an exciting day for a lot of reasons. Number one, we get to celebrate our friend Dominic's birthday. His actual birthday is next week on Thanksgiving, but that's a holiday. And another exciting thing is that we don't have to come to school for 10, nine days, nine days after today. You have a break for Thanksgiving. So all Thanksgiving week, you have a break. So what that means is that you still come pick up your folder today, but you don't need to open your folder. We won't forget, Avery, I promise. I've already got mine right here too. We will, we won't forget. So we, you don't have to open up your brand new folder, just hold on to that folder until we come back on Monday, November 30th. The last day of November, we'll come back after we have a nice vacation. So I hope you get to have fun, spend time with your family. Now I want to make another fun and important announcement. Two friends have birthdays over vacation. Miriam, and we sang to Miriam yesterday, and Dominic today. Now they each 
have given you goodie bags. That means today you get two goodie bags, one from Miriam and one from Dominic. That is so exciting. So let me tell you something really important, really important. And I want everybody put your hands down and listen for just a moment, okay? Miriam's goodie bag is inside your folder already, okay? So I put Miriam's goodie bag inside your folder. Dominic's goodie bag is right next to the folder box. But boys and girls, listen carefully. You take only one goodie bag, only one. That doesn't mean I take one for me and then I give one to my sister and one to my brother. That's not what it means. It means you only take one because we've already had a situation where we've left goodie bags out only for one kid at a time. And at the end of the day, kids didn't get goodie bags. Somebody who wasn't supposed to take it, took it. So we don't wanna have that situation again. So it's just for us, just for the students in our class, just take one goodie bag, okay? Do I get to take a goodie bag for my sister? As much as I love my sister, it's not for her. As much as I love my brother, it's not for him. But we just have to make sure it's just for our class. We're lucky, I know, we're super, super lucky. Thumbs up if you're super lucky. You're super lucky, you're super lucky. And you can share the things that are inside with your siblings, but we just have to make sure we take one so everybody gets one. All right, I see David's hand up. Yes, David. I make all this, like, I make this table by myself, and it's great. Oh, good for you. So you're getting pretty handy there, huh? That's fantastic. All right, yes, Sasha. So since Dominic's birthday, we're gonna celebrate today. Yes. Right? Yes. So we have the goodie bags. His goodie bags are next to the folder, and Miriam's are inside the folder. Yes. So, so we can give one to somebody else, or we can keep it. That can be. You just, yeah, you just take one goodie bag, just one. So you'll have two goodie bags, one from Miriam and one from Dominic. So you get to decide what you want to do with those goodie bags once you have them. Yeah, but you just take one, just one. All right, without further ado, let's celebrate our friend Dominic. Let's go ahead and unmute so Dominic can hear us sing happy birthday, okay? Let's get everybody together. Go ahead and unmute yourself. I'll wait just a minute. Unmute, unmute so he can hear you. All right, boys and girls, let's sing together. Ready? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Turn your mute button back on. Morgan, will you turn your mute button on, honey? David, David, will you turn your mute button on? We've got to wait till everybody turns their mute button back on. So Fiona Mahilani, will you turn your mute button back on? Saman, will you turn your mute button back on? All right, there we go. I'm going to call on Langston. He's been very patient. Yes, Langston. Oh, Langston, I can't hear you. I'm not sure why. Let me see. Try it one more time, Langston. Try talking. I still can't hear you, Langston. I wonder if it has to do with your headphones being plugged in. I'm wondering, because I can't hear you, buddy. Oh, but you've muted yourself. So Langston, go ahead and unmute, honey. Unmute and we'll try it again.
Langston, this happens sometimes, but I still can't hear, honey, and I'm not sure why. It's happened before with some other students. I still can't hear you, buddy. I'm so sorry, Langston, I just don't know why. Oh, try it one more time, maybe that worked. No, I can't hear you, Langston. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. If you need to tell me something, maybe mom can send me a message. I'm so sorry. I don't know what's happening, okay? Now, we're gonna hold on to our thoughts and our smart brain right now. I know some of us wanna say stuff. We're gonna wait for just a little bit of time because I have a really special book that I want to share with you this morning. So this really special book is called The Littlest Pilgrim. The Littlest Pilgrim, and she's really cute. She's a little pilgrim girl, and let's see what life is like for her as a little pilgrim. This book is by Brandy Doherty. The illustrator is Chris, Kirsten Richards. The pictures are beautiful. I can even look at the pictures right here and see that the leaves are changing colors and they're falling off the tree. That tells me it's fall where the littlest pilgrim is. Ava, are you okay, honey? Ava, are you okay? Did you wanna unmute real quick, Saman? Go ahead and turn your mute button on and your camera on. Mute button on and camera on, Simone. Ava, did you wanna unmute and tell us what you had? Okay. Uh, my mom has a support, like a, like, it's something that I have to do. I think it's great, honey. That's perfect for you. All right, boys and girls, let's see what the Littlest Pilgrim is all about. Minnie was a pilgrim. She lived with her family in a small village. There were many pilgrims in her village, but Minnie was the littlest one. Oh, hi, Skylar. Hi, Skylar. Skylar, go ahead and mute yourself, honey. Even though she was small, Minnie tried to help with village chores. One day, Minnie decided to be extra helpful. Minnie found her big brother by the house. He was stacking wood for the winter. Look, brother, Minnie said, I am helping to make a wood pile. But Minnie's brother was too busy to notice her. Minnie is picking up twigs from trees and she's making a pile of twigs. She's trying to be helpful. Minnie went inside the house and found her big sister. She was mending a dress. I am ready to sew, said Minnie. Sorry, Minnie, said her sister. You are too little to help with mending. Go help mama, I am busy. Oh no, Minnie tried to help her brother. She tried to help her sister. Everyone's telling her she's too little. Oh no, what's Minnie gonna do? Will she give up? I hope not. So Minnie went outside to help her mother. She was at the oven baking bread for dinner. Look, Mama, said Minnie, I am helping. But Minnie's mother was so busy making bread, she didn't even hear Minnie. Oh no, no, Mama's too busy for her. Minnie went to find her father. Surely he would want some help. He was getting ready to hunt for food in the forest. Sorry, Minnie. You are too little for hunting, Minnie's father said when he saw her. Why don't you go pick some berries for us to eat? 
Oh, so now Minnie has a job. Everyone's too busy, but let's see. As Minnie walked toward the berry bushes, she spotted her neighbor. He was fixing the door to his house. I can help, Minnie started to say. Sorry, Minnie, this is a big job and you are too little. Oh no, everyone's telling her she's too little. Don't give up, Minnie. Minnie wandered through the village. She was sad. Minnie just wanted to help, but everyone was too busy to notice. Or they thought the jobs were too big and Minnie was too little. It wasn't fair. Minnie walked toward the water. She spotted some boys from her village. They were fishing. Can I help you fish? Minnie asked one of the boys. He laughed. Sorry, Minnie, you are too little for fishing. Oh no, now she's too little to fish. <sighs> now Minnie was very sad. Why would no one let her help? Minnie knew there had to be something special she could do, even if she was little. Minnie started to walk home and saw some berries along the way. As she picked them, she heard something rustling in the leaves. Minnie moved closer to get a better look. There, at the edge of the forest, stood a girl. And she was little, just like Minnie. Hello, said Minnie. What's your name? The girl stood still and looked at Minnie. She didn't say a word. Minnie remembered the berry she held in her hand. Do you want one? She asked. At first, the girl just stared at Minnie, but soon she began to smile a very big smile. Minnie was too little for many things, but she was not too little to make a friend. And that is the end of The Littlest Pilgrim. So we saw that Minnie tried lots of different things to help. She really wanted to be a helper. She wanted to be big, but at the end, she was able to do something that was a happy thing. So I want you to think right now, what was your favorite part of the story? Your favorite part of the story. And when we answer the question, we'll speak in a complete sentence. My favorite part was when, and I'm going to choose Mahilani. Mahilani, go ahead and unmute yourself, honey. My favorite part. Oh, when they became friends. All right, sounds good. Let's get Samira. Samira, go ahead and unmute yourself, Samira. My favorite part was when um, Minnie made a friend. When Minnie made a friend. That was a really nice part, wasn't it? Skylar, are you okay, honey? Okay, then we always just wait our turn. You don't even need to talk to Mrs. Light because I'm looking at all my friends, okay? All right, Skylar, tell us your favorite part with a complete sentence. When Minnie so hold on just a second. I'm going to stop you right there because this is how I want you to start. My favorite part was, that's what I want you to say. My favorite part was when Minnie was too small to um, build. Okay, all right, great. Now, Skylar, I want you to go ahead and turn your mute button on, honey. All right. Uh, Miriam, go ahead and unmute yourself. Tell us your favorite part. My favorite part was when Minnie made a friend in the That was a good one, wasn't it? All right, Ira. Ira, go ahead and unmute yourself, Ira. Tell us your favorite part. My 
That was a really good part, wasn't it? All right, birthday boy Dominic. Dominic, go ahead and unmute. Tell us your favorite part, buddy. My, my favorite part was when I when she made a friend. Oh, right. That was a good one, wasn't it? Sandana, go ahead and unmute yourself, honey. Tell us your favorite part. And the girl made. Tell me the whole friend. sentence. Remember the whole sentence. My favorite part. All right. My favorite part when the little girl made a friend with the other small little girl. That was a nice part, wasn't it? Avery, go ahead and unmute yourself, my dear. That was so nice, wasn't it? Erin, go ahead and unmute yourself, buddy. Tell us your favorite part. Favorite part was with Minnie wanted to help everybody. Mm -hmm. Do you ever feel like that? Do you ever like to help? Yeah, you're a helper at home. Good job, Erin. All right, thanks, Erin. Yes, Vivon, tell us your favorite part, my dear. My favorite part was when the little pilgrim made friends. So nice, wasn't it? Ava, go ahead and unmute, honey. Tell us your favorite part. My favorite part was trying to help to go to go help to go help. She really wanted to help. And I have a feeling Minnie's not going to stop trying to help, is she? She really wants to be a helper, and she knows that's a good thing to do. So I have a feeling she's going to keep trying. Sasha, go ahead and unmute. Tell us your favorite part. My favorite part was when when her dad when Minnie's dad told her to pick some babies all right that sounds good okay boys and girls this was a really great book i'm gonna put it down for now because i think it's time for us to get up and move and groove we are going to sing we're going to dance we're going to get our brains smart and our bodies strong so find a good spot where you can do that yes vivan are we gonna go? Are we gonna do going okay? I sure hope so. Math time though, okay? Sound good? Math time. All right, get someplace cozy where you can dance. Make sure you're looking at the letters and saying their name. Don't be quiet during this, okay? Go ahead and put yourself someplace where you can sing and dance. Are you okay, Skylar? Because I want you looking and singing. Are you, are you okay, Skylar? Okay, very quickly, very quickly, honey. Um, my, um, came Congratulations, you're growing up. Fantastic, another part of growing up is singing with us. So go ahead and mute yourself, Skylar, and put yourself someplace. I want you looking at all the letters and saying their name, okay? Because you're a big girl. All right, here we go. Oh. 
boys and girls good job i saw so many of you up and dancing and singing along those are some new words for letters that's really really exciting all right though it's time i want you to find two things while you're getting you might want to go ahead and pull out your stickers they are inside your ibook i put them in there Get out your dictionary book. It is time for that too, but we will work on one more page in this packet as well. So go ahead and flip one more page in this packet. Hey, that's so easy. We're on I for our last I day. This is so perfect. I love it. Yes, Skylar. I don't have the dictionary book. Okay, where do you think it might be, honey? I'm not at home. You're not at home, so you didn't bring all your stuff with you? No, okay. So Skylar, do you have a piece of paper you can write on? I don't know. Why don't you go see if mom can help you? Is she available to help you? Because you're gonna have to do some writing, okay? Got you got one, all right. And do you have this one too? He's not here. Yeah, I have that one. Okay. All right. So, Skylar, if push comes to shove, you can take this one out and you can just turn it to the back side. And there's a piece of paper right there. So, it can just be the back side of your eye page. I mean, that works, right? When but we. Do you have to um, write on the numbers back there? Uh, no, you won't be writing your numbers back there. We're just going to do eye things on our eye page. That's all. So here we are, we're on our eye page and we're gonna start with our eye page. We're not gonna start with our stickers. So we're gonna, we're gonna start right here. All right, and so my name as always will go right on the top of my book. Yes, Skylar. That's the one, honey. So you can use the front of that and the back of that if you need to. If you don't have your sticker book, we'll make it work, okay? We can solve problems. Uh, do you have your sticker book? I have my sticker book. My sticker book looks just like this. It's yellow. Okay, so see if you can find that. And I want you to go ahead and turn on your mute button too, my dear. There we go. All right, boys and girls. Here we are at the very tippy top of our eye page. Mrs. Lai is gonna find something that's dark enough. Let's see. Let's see if I can write with this. This is the easiest 
Why did I just write I on my name? My name is not I. Silly Mrs. Lie. Gotta cross that out. Thinking about too many things, Mrs. Lie. All right, there I go. Now this is so easy. This week we're learning all about the letter I and the sounds that I make, but I is also a word. The letter I is a sight word. So we are going to work on letter I today for sight and our, um, as a sight word and letter I as a letter. So we're gonna go ahead and write I and just do our best. And here I go, I'm gonna write I again, touching the top line and the bottom line. And the interesting thing about the word I is every time we write it, it's a capital. Even if we write it inside of a sentence, it's still a capital. Always a capital when we're writing the word I. So I'm gonna write it again. And I'm going to start reading and circling I. Some of you feel like you're already done, but I want you to use your reading finger and read with me. I is my first word. So let's read it together. I see circles. And I'm going to my next one and I'm gonna circle I. And now I'm gonna read it. I see squares. And I'm going down to my next line and I'm gonna circle I, there's I. And I'm going to read it. I see triangles. And I'm gonna go down to my next line. I see I, I'm gonna circle it. And now I'm gonna read this line. I see rectangles. And I'm gonna go down to my next line. I see I, I'm gonna circle I. And I'm gonna read it. I see stars. And I'm gonna go down to my next line. I see I, I'll circle it. And I'm gonna read it. I see heart. Miriam, I want you to read it with us, honey. Use your reading finger and read it with us. Now I'm on my last line. I'm gonna circle I, and I'm gonna read my sentence. I see shapes. And boys and girls, I know that one was pretty easy peasy. Let's go ahead and read all of the shape word sentences together. We're gonna to go back up to the top and just read them down. So use your reading finger and hop it under every word. I don't wanna see sliding on top. I wanna to see hopping underneath. Here we go, ready Brandon? Here we go, ready? I see circles. I see squares. I see triangles. I see rectangles. Use your reading finger. Skylar, I want you using your reading finger on your page and reading with us, honey. You can't sit there and not do it. You have to practice. Here we go. I see stars. I see hearts. I see shapes. All right, boys and girls, I'm going to put that away. Skylar, you can still use the back of the eye page for your eye stickers, okay? You'll just have to put them down the side if you don't have your book, honey. All right, so here I go. I've got my dictionary book and I'm opening it up to the letter I page. It's after H, so I have H, I, I is right over here, I is right there, and my capital I on this one, oops, make them see Mrs. Light, is just one straight line down. My capital I on this one is just one straight line down. So as soon as you find your I page, start putting your stickers down the side. So here I go, I'm gonna put my, uh, my big eye, my little eye, 